All right, George, say action. Hi, Bull Bakers. It's Saturday morning and Kevin and I had a hankering for some pancakes. We are in our jammies. We've got baby George over in the corner and we thought we would just do a quick video showing you some incredible light and fluffy pancakes. Here's the deal. I'm running low on flour. We are six weeks into quarantine. I know you guys have little to no flour out there. So I'm gonna show you how you can make incredible pancakes with just a few ingredients. And we're gonna make them with oats. Super simple. And we're just gonna make them right now. So Kevin is behind the camera. We all good, Kevin? We're ready to go. Gemma, am I starting to look like uh, Will Ferrell from Elf a little bit? <laughs> a little bit. Buddy the Elf. You got the whole curly thing going on. Kevin thought for a, for a hot second that he was gonna cut his own hair. And I advised him against that. Yeah, so this, this recipe, as always, is on my website. But what we're going to do is, like I said, the main ingredient is oats. No flour at all in this. So I'm gonna put my oats into a little jug, like this. The reason I'm putting it into a jug is because we're going to actually blend it up. What you want to do is blend it until you get something that resembles kind of flour, like maybe even coarse flour. If you have oat flour, you can absolutely use that. It's really easy to do this. I'm going to use a hand blender. Now at home, not everybody has one of these. You can use a food processor or you can use, you know, a blender that you'd use to make smoothies and things like that. So put your hand over this because all you want to do is just grind up those oats. Really simple. You don't have to go out and buy an expensive bag of oat flour. Lots of people have oats. I know that oats are uh, still in the supermarkets, easily found. See, this just takes seconds. Look at this. Kevin, are you watching this? It's looking good, Tim. Now, let me tell you something about the oats. Look at that. See that? Not super, super fine, but like nicely ground, right? Just took a few seconds. Jim, question for you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there we go. This is, uh, this is the real deal. Um, can you use any kind of oats? I use rolled oats. You can use quick cooking oats, rolled oats. You can't use steel cut oats because they take a long time to cook and they're really hard. So any kind of oat that you can blend up. Into this, we're going to add in a little bit of baking powder. I'm glad to hear the baking powder is still available out there. Gem, baking powder or baking soda? Baking powder, Kevin. And why not baking soda? Because I didn't say baking soda, I said baking powder. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you all. <laughs> Do what I say and you'll have success. A little bit of salt, in you go. Just give those a little mix. Do this in a tall kind of a jug or a container just because um, the oats can have a tendency to fly out. Now, come here to me, Kevin. Yes. Bananas. These are one of the main ingredients of these pancakes. Here I have some nice, perfectly browned bananas. Two bananas. You're looking for around a cup of mashed banana. And I have all this on the website. So those are looking good. Let me just take off those knobbly bits on the end. All right, Jem, let's see those bananas. Push them forward here. Okay. Those look nice and uh, squishy there. And so now what you want to do is with a fork, just mash them up. Mash them up really well. I have a little bit of an obsession with mashing bananas, like for banana bread and things like that, and for recipes. I just like to get it really fine. Jem, is that the uh, perfectionist nature in you? No, I'm not a perfectionist. I, 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 re I, don't, I would never consider myself a perfectionist. Quite the opposite. I think that's why I do the style of food that I do because I'm just not a perfectionist. It's why I didn't have a very long career in fine dining because I just wasn't, wasn't my cup of tea. I like it a little bit more rustic. I like it a little bit more realistic. Not too much washing up with this recipe, Kevin. Good, because I have to do the wash up, right? <laughs> well, the person who makes the breakfast doesn't do the wash up. That's, that's for right. sure. That's right. Can't wait till George can do the wash up. No, George isn't going to have to do the wash up. Okay, come back to me, Kevin. Two bananas, nice and mashed. Into here, I'm going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract. Now, this is a luxury if you have it. I uh, do. Rachel Fagan sent me this from Hawaii. Homemade extract. Um, if you don't have it, don't worry about it, leave it out. But honestly, it does make a big difference. So if you want to add a little splash in there, it does make a big difference. And you can learn how to make your own. Yes, because we've got a video for that. Into this, I'm going to add in my eggs. 
And you probably noticed that this footage looks a little bit different, a little bit more rustic because we've set up two iPhones and that's what we're shooting on today. A little bit, um, just kind of spur of the moment, right, Jim? Yeah. So Jim, a question, what if you don't eat eggs? If you don't eat eggs, you can always check my egg substitute chart. Uh, you can replace them with a flax egg or a chia egg. Banana is also an egg substitute. So um, you can bump up the banana a little bit and leave out the eggs altogether. So I'm just gonna whisk those in. Did I add everything in, Kevin? I feel like I might've, no, that's everything. So I actually, you know what I want to mention? When I first started making these pancakes, I thought that because they were flourless that they were kind of like healthy pancakes. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that because I, I like regular pancakes. We did a big shoot here one day and we shot a whole pile of pancakes. These hands down were everybody's favorite. They were my favorite, they were everybody's favorite. Um, they're absolutely delicious. I can't even describe them, but like just you think that the oats might not disappear, but like they just go all mushy and soft. Like I said, they're light and fluffy. Add your dry into your wet there. And it just makes for really lovely pancakes. And a few ingredients, you see that Kevin? So just give it a bit of a mix with your fork. Okay, here, Kevin, would you do me a favor? Pop that into the microwave. Yep, you got That's it. our last ingredient, some melted butter. All right, Jim, for uh, how long here? 20 seconds. Okay. Seeing me do this uh, live here. So while we're waiting. While we're waiting, do you know what you do? Come over here to me. Yeah. Stick on your pan. So I have a nice big non-stick pan. Uh, medium low. So let me tell you something. And you can't put pancakes in too hot of a pan. You'll get burnt on the outside and raw in the middle. So do a medium low. And here's what I do. While your pancake batter is not even finished yet, stick on your pan and let it just heat up like the appropriate amount. Let it get nice and warm. And usually what you want to do is don't go in and change the temperature. And uh, when you're cooking the pancakes, just like get it set up to begin with at the right temperature and then go from there. Awesome, I think the uh, butter Yeah, I'll have the butter now, please, Kevin. Melted. Do you like my pants? And but here's the butter can. Does that mean that explosion in the microwave? Uh, I think uh, I think I'll be cleaning the microwave shortly. Okay, you ready? Your last ingredient, butter. Fold that in there. Jem, this is a really easy recipe. Yeah, super easy. Just a handful of ingredients. Yeah, but these are covered, these are covered staples. Is there a replacement for oats? Probably the question I'm gonna get asked. I don't know, I don't think so. You know, like if you want um, a different pancake batter, then check out my website for like regular pancakes if you're lucky enough to have flour. Um, but I'm hoping that a lot of people right now have oats. Come on over here to me now, Kevin. Jim, real quick, um, is there a replacement for the bananas? If people oh, want to make different yeah, flavors. That's a good question. Well, so what you want to do is pl replace it with something that's kind of bulky, so, um, like an applesauce, like a, fr a fruit puree, like applesauce, or uh, even pumpkin uh, puree, something like that. That will, a uh, pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin puree, that'll work well. So I do um, a pretty big scoop, so it's half a scoop of pancake, half a cup of scoop of pancake batter. These are filling pancakes. It makes around, depends on how big you scoop them, but it'll make around like four to five pancakes. You make it six if you stretch it. So half a cup of batter. There we go, put that over there. I'm just gonna cook off two at a time. So just like any regular pancakes, we're going to wait for some um, kind of, not as many bubbles appear on top, but it kind of starts to, you can tell it's cooked around the edges and then we're gonna flip them. So you're talking around three minutes or so on this side. And then we flip them over a little bit less on the other side and then we're done. So these won't take long and this is perfect timing because baby George fell asleep in the corner. He has no help at all and he might not be getting any pancakes. No, he can't have pancakes, he's only two months. <laughs> Kevin, we should do more episodes in our jammies and a little bit more relaxed, like this. And Waffles licking the baby, don't lick the baby. So see over here, Kevin, some bubbles have formed on top, just a little few. So I know these are very strange times. Our film crew can't be in our house, that's why Kevin and I are doing this. But um, we also know that it's a time that a lot of you are baking and making really great things. Our social media is flooded with pictures every day of what you've been creating. And I love the fact that you um, are baking with me and uh, trying all our different recipes. And it's really, it's really fantastic to see that during this unpredictable, 
unusual time that you're still finding joy in baking. So that's awesome. And it brings me a lot of joy. Come here to me, Kevin. I think I'm going to flip these. See the little bubbles on top? Now this is a good time to flip them. Boop. Oh, look at that. Another one for the win, Kevin. Let's see if we can do Let's that again. Let's do it. Oh, no. Okay, right. right we'll go again. Almost. Boop. Yeah. About how many pancakes does it make? Um, like I said, it makes around four to five pancakes. Depends on how big you do them. I did them. I was pretty generous. Because the thing about it is, how often do I get to eat pancakes? So if I'm not going to do it, I'm going to do it upright. All right, Kevin? You've got it. Yep. That's how we do. Oh, no, George's awake. Two minutes on this side. I can feed her nice and fluffy. Do, 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 do. I'm going to pop these over here. And I'm just going to cook off the rest of our batter. So Kevin, why don't you come on in here for your pancakes? Okay. I just dropped one on the floor. Oh man. I'll be for waffles later. Yeah, man. They're really light for like pancakes that are made with oats. They're surprisingly light. They're absolutely delicious. What do you think? These are so good. You do taste a little bit of the banana, but it's like a subtle sweetness. Um, you really something. don't even need that much syrup, even though no. we have gotta go for the syrup. But go with the butter. You know, I almost um, prefer butter than syrup. Absolutely. Jen, this is awesome. I'm really glad we just um, just did this for fun. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, I enjoyed having you uh, in our kitchen for a family Saturday breakfast. Yeah, let us know if you want us to see more of these types of videos. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, do all those awesome things and and we'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.